Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video of Wildlife X. For those of you who new, who's new to the channel, my name is Steven van der Waal. And today we'll be cooking up some leg of springbok from the springbok hunting video I shot uh, a few weeks ago. So thanks for tuning in guys, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you haven't seen that video or any of my other videos, I'll put a link to my channel in the description so you guys can check it out. And you guys can see the rest of the hunting and uh, cooking videos. So today, I hope you'll enjoy this. As I said, we'll be doing, uh, we'll be cooking up some leg of springbok, and uh, it's going to be very fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So here's our uh, hind quarter of a springbok we shot. There we've got some uh, chopped up beef body fat. Here we have some carrots, and this is some sweet red cherries. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to just going to stab a few holes in our uh, springbok, so we can get all the cherries and carrots stuffed in. So it's very easy to do. All you do is you take a knife, press it down, and make sure you get a nice deep incision. Now you take something and just press it in there, along with a little piece of body fat. The fat is just to keep the meat from uh, drying out, just to keep the meat nice and moist. There we go. I'll also be stuffing some chopped garlic in there and uh, then we'll be making the sauce and season it up I didn't debone this. I, I want to cook it with the bone still intact, just to see if there is a difference between boneless and with the bone still inside. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna repeat this process, and then uh, as soon as I'm done with this. I'll be um, showing you, how, you guys how we'll be making the sauce and I will season this whole thing up and then uh, put it in the oven. I started out quite early this morning because this dish takes about three and a half to five hours to cook because I'll be slow cooking it to make sure the meat is nice and tender. So, so it's very early just to allow for enough time to get it done by the time our guests get here. Ok guys, so what happened here, all I did was I um, finished stuffing the leg of springbok, then I put it in the casserole and lined it out with uh, tin foil. And uh, as you can see, we got our garlic in there and uh, all the carrots and um, ingredients we got we got in there now we're just gonna season it up I'll, again I'll be using this uh, Crown National Safari's Baltong seasoning 
of safari spice it is my favorite spice to use because this is such a thick piece of meat you can really don't be shy with the seasoning let's just turn that around back try to get some of it inside the inside the incisions you made earlier yeah I think that ought to do it now for the sauce Again we'll add a, a bit of the seasoning, about that much, along with some lemon juice. Also about that much, some vinegar. and some Worcester sauce and that's it a lot of people will add some brown sugar in this as well um, I'm quite skittish of brown sugar just because it burns black and bitter quite fast so we're just going to add the sauce mmm that smells good and now we're just gonna finish wrapping it with some tin foil. Make sure when you do this that your edges are sealed up nice and tight so it will lock in the moisture and your meat won't dry out. And that's it. Put this in the oven. Oops. Uh, about 120 degrees Celsius, and we'll put it on bake. And then we're going to check on it in a couple of hours. As I said, it takes about three to five hours to cook. And uh, yeah, I reckon we'll check on it in about two hours or so. So I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, so it's been two and a half hours since we put the meat into the oven. So we reached our half halfway mark, so let's go and look how it turned out. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Why do we make this thing so small? <sighs> oh, it smells good. Just be very careful when you're doing this not to burn yourself. Ouch, like I just did. Put 
Don't want to tear our foil because we're going to use it again now. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, that's coming along very nicely. Let's just give it a cut, see how it looks. It's just, well that's done. Mm -hmm. Well, that is good. Well guys, we just uh, take, took a look at that uh, Lego Springbok. Um, I thought it was going to be three to five hours, but uh, it's done. It is cooked right through. It is uh, a little bit chewy, but uh, the seasoning is great. And uh, well, everything turned out well. So I'm just gonna, I just put it back in just to give it a little bit of a roast on top, just to give it a nice golden brown finish. And then uh, later on we'll, uh, I'll take it out and I'll slice it into pieces and show you guys how it looks. Okay guys, so I just pulled out the Lego Springbok out of the oven, so we're gonna cut it up and uh, have a taste taste, and hopefully it will be good. Wow, that turned out perfect. Let's cut it and see. Look at how the cherries and the carrots turned out. Look at that, it's cooked through entirely, not uh, dried out, let's see what it tastes like. It's tender, sweet, the seasoning turned out very good, it's cooked through entirely, I think it was a big success. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, if you want to see more, subscribe, don't forget to click on the notification bell to receive a notification of each time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you with the next one.